thinking about self-publishing and don't know where to start? Join the Spa Girls each week for 30 minutes of honest advice, tips and resources. I'm Trudy J, and I am here with Shah Barrett. Hello. And Wendy Vella. Hello. The lovely Cheryl is moving house. So Yay. she is somewhat busy. And, <laughs> and, and I think it's a lame excuse, first Yeah, well, well, I don't know what she was I thinking. I don't know. I'd like, to, yeah, exactly. Where's like, why your did priorities? She put, why did she put her moving day on the day that we record the Spa Girl? And like, furthermore, has anyone seen her leave pass? I didn't <gasps> sign it off. Well, yes, no, that would be another go. point. So, you know, Cheryl, if you listen to this ever, which you may not, <laughs> um, <laughs> you're in trouble. Anyway, okay, so today's topic, which you can clearly see is going to be really focused, focused and on point, um, is called The One Right Way to Sell Books. It was a little dun, bit quick, baby. <laughs> we are giving what everybody wants, man. We're giving you what you want, except we're not, because ah. there is. There is no, no one right, right, right way to sell books. We're no. sorry. We're sorry for being so clickbaity, but there isn't. And we're kind of making a point because, it, and I know I've done it too, but we're all looking for that one right way. We, we follow yeah. these authors, we listen to podcasts, we do all these things and we go, well, there must be the right way to do this. There must be a golden thing. ticket. All, I, ha- yeah, all I have to do is learn the right way and everything will be gravy. Everything will happen. It'll be amazing. And yeah. Unfortunately, we're here to tell you that, well, no, I think it's fortunately, actually, we're here to tell you that there is no one right way because we have talked to so many different people and so many of them have completely different things they're doing and they are still successful. I think it's a really positive thing that there isn't one right way because if there was, first of all, if there was one right way, everybody would be doing it and everybody would be kind of against everybody else if you like it'll be like a giant race all in one direction but also hard work right and like, really you know, hard work and yeah. secondly like everybody's got different strengths and different different techniques and different um uh strategies work for different people because we're all different so it's a good mm. thing it's a good thing a well good if you're getting into this game and you want that golden ticket and you're not willing to do the hard work it's not going to work well, I, I would say that probably is the one right way and it's actually there's no getting around it it's bloody hard work absolutely yeah yeah I, okay, and you know we've our we, podcast for the day <laughs> <laughs> you know we've all heard about outliers right yeah People that, but at the same time I think if you actually dig beneath the surface with them they've been writing for a long time and learning mm-hmm. the game yeah, there you are know. no outliers. There are no. people who have been doing it for I a long time. I refuse to believe there's an outlier. There are no. Ah. There are no outliers. I, I think there. I think what there are though, there are definite times when um, somebody might release a book, perhaps like one of the first um, reverse harem, for example, and it just hit hit something mm, right mm, you know there's sometimes yeah. there is fortunate timing and a little bit of a little sprinkle of luck never goes amiss or no. and I, I would say it's less about luck but probably about timing or kind of things come together yeah. at the right place um but and and we've also had some authors on that have had a particularly successful series and they're like I don't quite know because I mean no. I'm still writing the same way but I don't know and you know there's there's a little magical element there as well which again I think is a positive thing because if it's happened for other people it doesn't mean that it can't happen for you and on it, the other side to that is the series you think is going to kick butt yeah <laughs> dun, 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 round it goes you know like it's like what what you know I don't get that you yeah, can do everything yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, which, and yet stop. You know. Although you're depressing me now with all this talk of magic and not oh, knowing. And no, no I it. like it. I think it's uplifting. Can't be all happy, yeah. fluffy Barbies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> happy, fluffy Cause, Barbies. Because we are like that yeah, all the time. We are aren't the we? fluffy ba- Barbies. We are. Um, we are. Because I, what I all I all I want to say on this is the idea that, and I and I what I like about this idea that there's no one right way is that it just means that you can find the right way for you yeah. and mm. what resonates for you and find. So we, we get sometimes um, jip. I don't know if uh, another way to say that. How do you say it? Like we kind of get a bit of, a bit of pushback. Pushback. Mm. Pushback. When people kind of say, well, you had this person on and they do it this way. And then you had this person on and they do it another way. Which is the right one? And, mm. and from our perspective, they're both right because both of the separate people are doing it their way and are being successful in their way so Mm. it doesn't it just means that there are multiple ways to do the thing and you just find 
the one that resonates best for you. And so, mm -hmm. so a specific example, if you're if you're wanting, is is Larissa Reynolds versus Tammy Labreck. And they both fight the, match. Fight, no, no, fight no, no, no. To the death. <laughs> and I think you could pretty much agree. I think that both of those women are very smart, very savvy women who are doing very well and they know what they're talking about in their different areas, but they do things slightly differently with when it comes to newsletters. And that's mm -hmm. amazing. That's fantastic. And yeah. that is not a problem. Yeah. And it's and it's something that we need to remember. And and so for example, I listened to Penny Reed talk on newsletters as well. And so she does, so she only sends out monthly newsletters um, and versus me doing it weekly. Well, I'm I, I I think Penny's amazing. I think her newsletters are amazing, but I'm not going to go out and suddenly go, oh, I'm only going to send my week newsletters mm. out monthly now because Penny does, because I want to do different things and I mm. I think that weekly is better. But it's do you know what I mean? Like, does it yeah. mean that it doesn't mean it's wrong. I think that was it when we've had pushback, we've had a few emails and it was particularly around the newsletter thing. And I get that it can be quite stressful and a little daunting when you're starting off <laughs> and you're like, okay, well, hang on. One week they said, that, you know, send it, it this, this way. way. And then the other week. So well, why did, why didn't you pull them up? Well, because there was nothing to pull them up on, you know, because again, different strategies work very much for different authors particularly obviously readers come into it too <laughs> the subscribers yeah. but it depends on, on how you want to work and that's the beauty of the self-publishing is is working out what strategies work mesh well with how mm. you like to work so maybe that's the point is that maybe you listen to Tammy you listen to Larissa you you, you figure mm. out and it's about strategizing right so you about you knowing what you were trying to achieve know your goals know you know your why even like mm -hmm. are you trying to make money or are you trying to write a bestseller or are you just writing because you love to write and you kind of a happy chance that you make money like whatever and if you're writing to make money then you need to sit down and look at the things that are going to make you you know the most money for the shortest bit you know that kind of stuff like it's mm -hmm. what and whereas mm -hmm. if you're just writing because you love writing and you want to then there's different things that you might be happy mm. doing that the person over here who's really super focused on just the money might not do, you know, and that's fine. But, like, but I'm not, I'm not saying either one of those is better or worse. I'm just, yeah, that's about testing too. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we tend to come into this and think we're going to do a B and it's going to get us C. It's actually, it's a very, very fast changing industry we're in too. Um, so, but I think, and, and I'm, um, I don't know if it's because I'm a Virgo, Sha will tell you it is. Uh, but I like someone to say this, you do this and then fine, we, we're done. That's all you need to do and we're okay and we're good. So for me, this was a, it's been a real education for me to have to learn from a lot of different people, little different aspects. And that's why on the, on the podcast, we get a lot of different viewpoints because I think that that's important because one might not work for you, one might. One might. And that's what I've done. I've tried a lot of different ways to do things and I've slowly niched down to where I think, okay, this is working for me now. I'm going to do it this way. But it's taken me a while to get that. And that's the mm -hmm. thing I think self-publishing is about. It's an adjustment. That, you know, we can do all the courses and we can learn all the stuff and we can get all the tools. But when you put it into practice, it's how it works for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally different. I agree. And it, we just were talking about this before, but like how Shara and I love to learn. Like mm -hmm. we love to do courses. We love to do like, you know, I, I'm doing, you know, boot camps here and there and all over the show and I'm doing all these different things. And Wendy hates that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. feels overwhelmed by learning too much and having all that information. And I feel like, I couldn't imagine not doing that. Like it's, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it kind of motivates me and inspires me and I get excited. Whereas, and, and, and that's, yeah. that's totally cool because we're two different people and that's just the two different ways that we work. And there's, and that's amazing. You know, I just, Going, for me, it's about if something that if I, if I'm struggling with something, then I need to learn about it. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's Whereas like I always go back like to the, dif the learning for between. learning sake. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah. no, because you like the knowledge, and then you pass it on to me, which is great. We like it, so. but I love the process of learning, and I think um, we had Becca sign um, on. We're going to link to these, by the way, in the show notes. So go to spargirlspodcast.com if you need the links. Um, but um, I did the Strengths for Writers course with Becca, and a lot of people find it hugely helpful to identify how they basically it's how you process things and how particularly how you process information and my number one strength is as learner and then it's intellectual which means that I love all that kind of stuff and I 
it's just who I am. And there's, and I think the key is working with your strengths. Wendy's strength, I would say, is is absolutely taking what's needed. It's very strategic, but not overcomplicating it and getting getting on with it. Whereas um, I know for myself, I can get caught up in the learning and not and just keep learning. <laughs> learning and not actually applying it (laughs) yeah and that's the thing too and we're going to do that in a later podcast but talking about not just yeah just not like not over complicating not overthinking not over learning and not taking action because I think people sometimes confuse um there's a kind of passive action and um actual action so passive action Mm -hmm. is kind of sitting around learning or sitting around talking about stuff versus actual action of writing and publishing yeah. So you've kind of got to balance those two things and make sure you're doing all that. And you also uh, have to work out why why, why you're learning all the yes. time too. And personally, I think it's a, it's a block. It's like if I'm learning all this stuff, then I'm not doing this. Absolutely. It can you know? be a massive um, procrastination yeah. Yeah. method because yeah. you can justify it by saying, but I needed to learn how to do whatever you know mm. it's very easy it can be a real cover I'm feeling that. a little bit attacked right now no, <laughs> one, is no one is attacking you I <laughs> wanted to go back to we talked about Trudy you said know your why and I also wrote the other thing that I think is important to know is your capacity and I've also said your strengths but also your capacity of what you in order to to do things what is your capacity for for example newsletters and it's okay as you get further down the career track to change that. When Wendy first started doing a newsletter, she did a, a new release email alert and we people signed up just to get when she had a new release. And that was okay. And now she's doing them, you know, every second week. It's okay to change things as you go. Just yeah. because you're doing something now it doesn't mean that it has no, to you've stay got to evolve, that way. Eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Evolving is important. And I think it's also like so you talk about being overwhelmed from learning um, you know from doing all the courses and stuff it is actually I think over, easier to be overwhelmed by how much information there is out there in yes. the in the in the self yes mm. internet sphere um I think that's a spa girls word it dot is. tm not dot yeah TM. yeah um it's, we haven't we haven't trademarked it yet but we totally will yeah. um <laughs> So I, I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh my God. I'm no, it is true. We, were, we started off in this in 2013, really. I mean, we were, Wendy was our giant guinea pig. And I mean that in the best possible way. Like we put her out there in the world. And, <laughs> and then, and, but there wasn't the resources that there are now. And I think that's why it's also overwhelming. It's a, it's the old double-edged sword. There's a Mm. lot more, you know, your book funnel. What's that? Book bub ads. Like since when could you do that? Like all of that kind of stuff. Um, Yeah. Facebook ads, Amazon Whereas there was less choice. So you had Juto and I didn't have Vellum um, or you had to do hand code and basically you send it off to a format. (laughs) I remember the first time I did a a, a print book was in Word and I had to go through page by page to try and make sure before I PDF'd it that there was no, there were no orphans and widows and that there was the right stuff on the right. You know, like honestly, whereas now we've got Vellum and it takes like click. And that's done, like, honestly. Done. Yeah, um, and also there weren't Amazon ads, and that's a whole nother, you know, there's there's different things. So it's growing as the industry's matured or maturing. There's more available, but yes, I can see the overwhelm can build. So my point with the overwhelm was, so when you say there's no one right way, it doesn't, there is no one right way. So it's mm. okay if you choose not to do Amazon ads um, and choose Facebook ads, let's say, or yeah. that you choose to do your newsletter monthly or that you choose to follow Tammy rather than Larissa or that you choose yeah. to like, it's like just, but the point is to choose, right? Like the point is to not sit there and listen to all the things and listen to all the information and freak out and not know which way to go and you know, like, oh no, I'm, I don't know which way to go. So I'm going to do nothing, which is mm. the ultimate worst thing to do. Like, I think you have to then turn around and go, right, well, I've, for me, I've, le- I've realized that learning too much is a bad thing. And that's just for me. And so if I know that there's a whole lot of stuff, like these guys fire links and books at me, like, you know, a rainstorm, mate. It's like hailing links and books. And I'd things. like to say it's not and, like a rainstorm. And knowledge. It's, and knowledge, uh, mate. You know, not, oh, I did this. You need to do this. You need to do this. And that. Anyway, I just am like, I've just learned to smile and go, thank you. <laughs> In other words, to pander to us, pat us on our head. I'm saying if you like me and it does get overwhelming, then just 
little wee steps, take something that really resonates and work on that and then something else and resonates and work on that or get two people like these two who can filter it down and then just feed the information to you verbally and you don't have to do the course. It's even <laughs> better. <laughs> hey. I was also going to say, because I'm a gambler and I, I mean... Like gambler. A, I'm a gambler. <laughs> How do no, I read that? To Gambling Anonymous, my name but, is Char. But in a way, it's kind of like, yeah, take a gamble like just pick a pick it pick something pick a lane just you know yeah. okay i can't learn facebook i can't learn amazon i can't learn book by bed so i'm just gonna put one of them and i'll give that a go like seriously mm. just give it a go you know that's, yeah. and that's the thing that's a really big part of this show because if you're trying to find the right way then you're gonna be in an in indecision because you don't know what to and this is a this is me i'm talking from personal experience of sitting no. there going oh yeah shut up wendy i don't know what to do i don't know should i do this or should i do it and then you just don't do anything and then you're in a decision and and the what a better way to do it is make a decision doesn't matter what just make a decision okay i pick amazon ads i'm going to work on them and then you work on them and you get better at them and if they work for you amazing if they don't work for you think hmm okay i've given it a try over two months you've got to give it a decent shot maybe i'll try facebook ads like yeah. like what you've got to do is put yourself out there and as and if it's the wrong decision let's say and i don't believe there is any wrong decision no. i just think it's it's gathering data and finding out what it's a process of doesn't. elimination yeah yeah and so and once you find that it works for you or it, mm. it's like iteration right like think iteration like test it out find find what's good finds what's yeah. bad, fix yeah. what's bad, lean yeah. into what's good, you know, just move forward, move forward, move forward. It's like a process, right? And I think you'll find as you're doing this, you're taking bits anyway. You know, you say that mm. it's not working for you, but you are like, okay, I've done a few courses and I've learned a little bit along the way, but, but See, I take, she admits I, it. I, but only because they dragged me in there. I'm like that cat on the door. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, but, you know, like all, I've learned little bits, little bits just sort of, oh, I remember that. I remember that. Mm. I remember that. I just keep little bits. And and that's the thing, the learning in your mind, you might think it's a waste of time. That was no good for me. It didn't work. But in actual fact, it, it might come back and work for you yeah. or or a hybrid version of that might work for you. Or, you know, you, if you're like Trudy and, and Shah and you're sort of process of elimination, you do that, you enjoyed it, but you know, it's not really for me. So I'm going to try something else. Mm. You'll learn in different ways, but they will have taken bits from everything they've done. Absolutely. They'll implement that. Yeah. And you, you kind of learn by osmo osmosis as well. Yeah. Like you might think for some people, learning is sitting down for four hours, you know, watching how-to video or whatever and, mm -hmm. and it's not always that way it can be just just scrolling through Facebook and seeing an author ad for example that really strikes you that's yeah. that's kind of learning too you know um yeah. so it doesn't have to be that kind of sit down you know if you're traumatized by school and the word learning yeah. <laughs> and education is is an anathema then that's a way to do it um I also would just put a little um I suppose word of advice gentle advice there are in the end in this community and i'm talking the self-publishing community and particularly the writing community there's a lot of people that will tell you no you're doing it wrong and i think always steer clear of anybody that says it's there's one thing to do or there's one course to do or they've got all the answers because it's bs they don't mm -hmm. we like to think we have all the answers but we're telling you that we are learning every day ourselves still hmm. and, and it can be find is that those Sorry. people are telling you this is the only way to do it is what they mean is this is the way it worked for me yeah and yeah or and that's I've got cool. a, or I've got a high course to sell you. Yeah, I've got something to sell you. But but you think about someone like Mark Dawson, who is amazing and sells loads of books and like it's like a little energizer bunny. Um, I don't think the man sleeps, quite frankly. But <laughs> but he's got this ad, this, you know, his ad stuff. And I I mean we've you think about the way his ads work. I think that they work amazingly well for thrillers, but maybe there's other ways that that would work slightly better for different genres. And yeah, absolutely. What what 
they I would go out on a limb and say they probably wouldn't work for reverse hiring because it's 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 something that's that has to be quite treated differently, for example, in terms but of aspects the of them. Would. You can't even advertise. But you aspects, can't that's it. That's it. Yeah. But aspects of yeah. them would, you know. Absolutely. And that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, I've done his course and some of his oh, stuff so I, I use. I, I think he's great. Yeah. Um, and, but then at the same time, I've also done Nicholas Eric's course and some of his stuff works really well for yeah. me. So it's sort of, it's a hybrid thing, but you've got to do it to see, you know. Mm. Which comes back to the point that there isn't one right thing, no. you know. Yeah, yeah. And I've done Sky Warren's course and Mark Dawson's course, and they kind of yeah. almost come at it completely differently from yeah. opposite ends, and mm. yet they both work. And it's yeah, both exactly. okay. And they're both yeah. doing really, really well. And that's yeah. awesome. So don't yeah. feel like there is one person who's going to be able to tell you one way and it's the only way. And it's or if you do thing. something the way that somebody says and it doesn't work, you're not it's not um their fault. <laughs> yeah it's not their fault and it actually doesn't mean that you're a loser as well you know it just could mean that there's not a resonance between Thank the two gosh things for that, then. i'm just yeah, saying because i was worried about that <laughs> yeah i was worried about being a loser for a minute there. <laughs> Jeez. um what i want to talk about quickly is like um how does it feel when you're looking for the one right way like how does that actually make you feel I, oh, I, like i think Look, I think we can all relate to this, even if it's if you're sitting here listening, maybe it's not necessarily publishing, but like we've all well, if you're a woman, chances are we've all done the the right diet or the one way to lose weight. You know, it's it's you're just hoping you can, that's why diet books are still selling because there's we're all holding out hope. I think it's human nature, isn't it, that we yeah. want, you know. Yeah, and, and so you kind of feel like, for me, it's like an overwhelm or almost a panic and desperation I get yes. to. Like you're kind other of people like, know the secret and you don't, maybe. Yeah, like and, and then you get jealous because, like, oh, why won't those other people tell me the secret? Yeah. Like, why, they're, they're in the secret group, clearly, that I don't know about. Yeah. And, and Do you remember Bella Andre? Do you yes. remember when she said she went to a conference once and um, and she said, people keep coming up to and tell me why how to do it tell me how to get like you and how it works and and like she said I wanted to help them so desperately but there is no way to help them they have to do the work for them learn yeah. for themselves but because she was such a huge success story and she was getting this you know there must be a way you must be able to tell me how it works just tell me the steps just, we all want to know the how yeah you know like it's the, there is no magic pill unfortunately there is no I think people just want to be shown the path, don't they? And I think yeah. in some ways, yes, the, the, um, and those of us in the communication and the education, which we are industry in terms of helping writers, is that we're showing you paths and we're showing you different paths, but we can't walk the path for you. You've got to kind of do it. And I would say that you have to fail along the way to get there. And that is a positive thing because yeah. there's going to be times when you think, you know what, this cover is amazing. This, you know, this is nails it and it just doesn't. So I think, but until you've not seen those results, you're not going to look back and think, okay, what should I change? You, you mm. can't, you can't, um, What's the word? You can't, you can't see. What, yeah, you can't yeah. see what you don't know. <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's really interesting because that's something that I've been thinking about recently. Like, there are things now that I get that I'm picking up doing these courses and doing things that if I'd done exactly the same course when I was first starting out, I wouldn't have seen it. I wouldn't have understood it. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's just the process that I've been through and the learning. And it's like the learning on top of learning and the, and the got that cover wrong. So I'll try this cover. So I'll try that cover. It's like the, exactly. just the process. And it's, and it's the unsexiest thing in the world to be told that it, you just, it takes time and you have to, to go through a process, yeah. but it's kind of the way it is. Like, um, but you're learning at certain points. You know, mm. like I really think you learn it. Like for me, I've just started Facebook ads this year. And if I'd have done some of the courses I've done now at the beginning, I would have been totally overwhelmed. Yeah. Mm. And for you would have been was, writing your books. No, for, what, for me, it was about getting in and just playing around and doing some ads. Um, and, you know, Trudel set a couple up for me and I just sort of went from there. And now I'm doing the courses. I understand them more because mm. I've actually done the ads, you know. Yeah, so I think that's it. You've got to... Thing you got to dip your toe in, don't you? Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. and actually giving it a go and either, you know, having modicum of success or, or not is a good thing before yeah, you actually yeah, then go yeah, out and yeah, seek yeah. to learn more. I think that yeah. helps. You've got to know what a Amazon dashboard looks like on Amazon ads. I, I would say before you've done a course, because otherwise it's kind of like a double 
heap of learning and that can be yeah. really confusing I mean that's yeah. when I get confused is if I'm trying to learn a new computer program or something I've got to have a plan at first mm. <laughs> before yeah, I do yeah. a course yeah, yeah. you kind of got to familiarize, yeah. familiarize yourself with something a little bit and then a little yes. bit more and a little bit more yeah. um, I want to go back to the whole idea of failing because I've been doing a little bit of this recently. Like I listened to Brooke Castillo, my favorite lady, <laughs> and she's been talking a bit about that recently. And, um, and, and I, to me, always was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I failed to succeed. But no, she's kind of like, when she's talking about that, it's like, like leaning into it. Like you kind of want to fail. Like yeah. you, you, you look for the fails as in, and not look for the fails as in, try go out there and fail but like and not fail as in passive like it's I'm a fail because I haven't done anything but take action and find the failure because that once you've had the failure then you can look around to ways to fix it so if you're thinking of putting um doing a Facebook post say for your for your Facebook page and you're like oh but I don't know the right way to do it and I don't know how to do it and oh I've got to learn all about it and and you don't put it up then there's no Facebook post, there's no data, there's no way to act on it. So you put a Facebook post up and you get three people commenting on it and it's clearly not engaging and nothing happens. You go, okay, mm. that's a fail, but what can I do differently next time that will make it more engaging? What can I, you know, maybe I could change the type of picture that I'm putting up. Maybe I can put different kind of words. Maybe my group needs to be bigger. Maybe I should boost it. You know, there's, and then the next time you try all those things and then look at what happens at that time. Mm. And then you go, oh, and if, if you still don't have the engagement, which was your, your, then you go, okay, that was a fail but how do I make this one better? Yeah. So you look at it again and you go, okay, maybe I could try a different picture. Okay, so those wording clearly still isn't working. So I've got two versions of wording that don't work. Let's try a third version. So it's kind of yeah, failing. Yeah, exactly like advertising. It's the same it's thing. Learning. Yeah. yeah. It's, but yeah. it's the learning. And I think that word, yeah. when, because there's a lot of things that they say, oh, you've got to fail to succeed. And a lot of people go, oh, yeah, yeah. And they, but you don't, when you think it through like that, you suddenly go, ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense. Like yeah. fail isn't a dirty word. <laughs> fail isn't yeah. a bad thing. It just means that what you tried didn't quite work and you need to find changes that you can make to make the next version better. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah totally. Perfect. I think a lot of us, when we're looking for that, that one right way, we're wanting to avoid those failure experiments aren't we mm. we're trying to skip past we're trying to fast forward through that yeah. um and and going back to the timing magical thing this isn't um, this isn't woo woo but I do see um the big thing seems to be in author groups at the moment is is talking about um reader groups on Facebook you know setting up your reader group and and I'm seeing brand new authors that, that haven't even published yet setting up reader groups and and stressing because they're trying to look for ideas and they're putting a huge amount of energy into a reader group well the bottom line is I see reader groups as a result of the success not as a cause of your success if you like of sales like they, they come from at the other further down the track than not 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 first unless you're probably well known or a non-fiction kind of author or something like that so save yourself the stress and just recognize that sometimes it's a timing thing that's yeah. not right you know I'm not saying don't set up a reader group but because putting, clearly there is no one right way so if you're a newbie author no one and you right want way. to set one if up if you want one up do it but but you know what set one up probably chances are nobody will join it or or you won't get a lot of engagement because literally there's nothing to talk about at that point and just learn from it. Learn how you set a group up and, and yeah. you know, set the rules up and work on moderation. It's okay. No. And then listen to podcasts like this because we have that whole thing. We would have said the same thing maybe um, about newsletters. Or, yeah. or we thought the same thing about newsletters. And then along comes Jamie Albright who sets up a newsletter and has something like 1,500 subscribers before she's even published a book. Yeah. And, um, and it manages to do it that way. So it's kind of like if – you've got like so if you want to set up a newsletter before or a, or a facebook group before you've um got books published just look at it no one understand that it's really hard for an um, author before they're published but go hey i've got an amazing personality i love posting on facebook and i can talk about cats till the cows come home wow. so i can gather <laughs> funny readers. you should say that <laughs> yes funny you should say that Shah, exactly. with your brand new kittens my brand um, new kittens exactly that's right and just it's 
but also cut yourself some slack. And I think one of the things that we've got to really watch as creative people, we are amazing at turning that creative in, um, imagination on and on ourselves and tell us all these stories about why we can't do something or why we're failing at doing something or why people don't like us or yeah. why whatever. And I think really watch the self-talk. I think that's super, super important for all of us to to you know as Trudy was saying if, if something hasn't worked don't say I'm I'm a failure or whatever it's it's not you it's maybe you know okay that was a learning experience that's a really good point and I should have mentioned it when I was talking about failure don't take it personally mm. like it's not you it, it's, it's not about saying why did I fail I'm a failure it's about why did this thing that I do did what what was happening here and how can I learn from it you know, like take all of that emotion and the fear of failure and the, you know, the, all those things, and kind of shrug them off and just kind of lean into this idea of I need to l learn by doing. Like it's, yeah, learn by doing is kind of what we're talking about today. Yeah. Like just And I think it helps to, like, as we were talking before, okay, yes, maybe Trudy and I have probably swamped <laughs> Wendy with... <laughs> I don't things to do it. and listen no. but it does help maybe with having a couple of writer friends that you can zoom with or skype with or whatever to talk it through about oh, and Wendy's off. Wendy's um, that can that can talk about like learning together really helps as well Trudy and I have done this a lot and we both because we love it it's cool fun but also it helps those maybe it just as it's really nice to have somebody even if you're frustrated with it and I know Wendy and Cheryl were really good on Juto and they worked on it together you know um and that helps a lot there's some things you can't you can't do um I would say probably Photoshop is not really although yeah maybe yeah. you can yeah. but I just think learning something together maybe set up you know it could be hey in the new year get a couple of writer friends and set up your first Amazon egg kind of thing for example to and do it together you know mm. for your own books but do it together even even if one person is teaching the other because I think actually for me like Wendy mentioned how I set up a couple of Facebook ads for yeah. her to start off and that was good for me because it was in the process of teaching her I'm kind of reiterating in my own head how it's yes. done and finding the right bits yes. and kind of going oh yeah that's right you've got to go over here and so you learn as well as the person absolutely learning. So don't think of it as a oh no I'm going to have to tell them it's it's a yeah absolutely really saying she's going <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely it is um that there is nothing like explaining to somebody else how to do something for you to reiterate the steps it's really yeah. really really good um yeah so I kind of feel though just you know I want this to be a positive topic because it's a good thing that there isn't one right way and I'd really like us to come back to that point because it's it's that's the beautiful thing about this and it's changing and it's also a good thing <laughs> you know and and I would say that there are more and more services out there and service providers and opportunities to learn that actually are making I don't want to use the word easier but I but are making it more accessible for people hmm. let me put it that way yeah and it's just give things a go get out there try things yeah. it doesn't matter if it doesn't work yeah. the first time keep going keep trying keep keep iterating keep improving and it will happen it will it won't happen overnight yeah. but it will but it happen, will happen. <laughs> famous quote by mm. famous new zealander rachel hunter yep. just yeah saying. and a shampoo ad wasn't it yeah, shush, yeah. Shush, shush. but just saying you know she was, you right. Took it. She was right and she had really or she has really great hair so yeah. clearly yeah so clearly she knows about hair so i don't yeah. think we should mock her I, that was probably one of my celebrity sightings um, I remember seeing her as a 16 year old walking down um, the Queen Street in Auckland which is our main street and it was like looking at a beautiful kind of giraffe cross gazelle walking down like seriously mm -hmm. her hip bone was the kind of top, top of my of head, head. Yeah, yeah she's so tall mm -hmm. but anyway anyway just saying. moving on moving on um, I think <laughs> could, okay could, I think we, that's probably us yeah, actually we, is it I feel yeah. like it is and yeah. just yeah. you know like and whatever you're doing yeah. you're doing great you know yeah yeah stay positive you. it Keep doesn't going. if something didn't work that's not a problem that's amazing because now you know it didn't work and you can move on to something else one day we'll do a podcast it'll be five sessions on what we tried and it didn't work too yeah, like many <laughs> many sessions but that's okay yeah. that's fine yeah. 
Um, so, awesome. so where can we be found, Sha? Well, surprisingly, we can be found at spargirlspodcast.com. Mm. Uh, we're also on people. YouTube. And look, let us know how you're learning. And also, if there's any topics that you'd like us to cover in the um, coming year, we're approaching our sixth, sixth year of um, recording, which is very hard to say. And I'm pretty sure my QE accent wrangled that vowel as well. But um, let us know on Let's Facebook. Let's just say fifth Star and then Girls skip podcast. to seventh. Sorry, mm. I spoke over sixth. Um, sixth. No, anyway. Um, I was just going to say, if you've never watched us on YouTube, you should pop over to YouTube because it's quite funny about looking at the faces we poke. Oh, and I can't look. Other. It's bad enough. And how my myself. internet dives out and then I disappear yeah. and then come back again. Yeah, that's yeah. not true, Great. Wendy. That's, that's, that you did get not fed happen. Up. You get fed up with us, so you just click that leave button and yeah. you just yeah, take well, a deep breath. She packed a patty and decided oh, that she didn't no, like no, us no, anymore. No, Hit no, end. No, no. I fell and asleep. Then. That was what it was. All right. Okay, people. Thing. Anyway, thank you right. so much for listening. See you all next time. Bye. 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 Bye.